Alrighty, how do I do this again? <sighs> Hello and welcome. My name is Chelsea, I am still insatiably curious, and at this rate, I think we should call this an annual resurgence, I guess? <laughs> how are things with you? Things with me are good. The first half of the year was a bit rough, but I'm bringing it back in the second half. I've got things happening, I'm working towards goals, I'm currently saving up for a working holiday visa to move to Sweden. I guess that segues quite conveniently into today's video, which is me trying a whole bunch of Swedish sweets, and then I'm gonna rate them on a scale of Swedish things. Alright, let's start things off with ballerina biscuits, or ballerina keks. I suppose. I am gonna make a mess all over my desk, that's fine. Well, that's a cute little biscuit. All right. It's very nice. I imagine it would pair well with a cup of coffee. And you know what else pairs well with a cup of coffee? A freshly baked canilbulle. So I think I'm gonna rate these biscuits four out of five canilbullar. That seems fair. Next, let's try the actual sweets, as in candy, starting off with bilar, or cars. And it even says on the front, Sweden's most bought car, which is adorable. <laughs> Goodbye plane, go away please, thank you. They're quite nice, I like them, but I probably wouldn't just sit here and eat one after the other. So I think I'm gonna rate bilar three out of five IKEA bags, which from my understanding is the bare minimum that you are required to own as a Swede. Um, you know, fair enough, they are they are very handy bags. Gott och blandat. Apparently we've got a confectionery blend with licorice and fruit flavour. So that's fun. I'm gonna do one of these little raspberry looking ones. Mmm. Mm-hmm. The little fruits are delicious. The licorice is good as well. It's very similar to the black licorice that we have here in Australia, so it's quite sweet. Um, don't you worry though, we do have more licorice coming later. I enjoyed these more than bilar, but I am more of a chocolate fiend, which is coming up next. So I think I'm gonna give this one, I need something fruit related because this is fruity. Four out of five handfuls of freshly picked lingon berries. Yep, that'll do. <laughs> Ha ha ha, let's get into the chocolate. I could annoy my Swedish viewers by referring to this simply as Kex. Nay, they hear that it's Kex! They hear that Kex who clawed! Kex who Um, but no, I, I probably shouldn't piss off the locals before I've even moved there, so Kex who clawed. Hmm. <laughs> Crumb. It's good. It's a pretty standard wafer biscuit covered in chocolate. Um I want to save my high ratings for things that are going to be my favorites. So let's do three out of five schöttbullar. Plop. Milk chocolate with creamy toffee filling. Okay. Mm. I think I should include some music references. So Plop gets four out of five enthusiastic knee smacks as performed by Joachim from Sabaton. Okay. I've got the original dime bar as well as the dime flavored marabou block. So, let's see if my opinion on the two is different. Mmm. Crunchy toffee. Mm hmm I like that. Okay, let's try the marabou. Mm hmm I enjoyed these a lot. So these both get five out of five dollar hestar. Yes. Round two of marabou. I have tried this one before back when I was in Sweden last year. Uh, this is the hazelnut flavor, but for some reason it's called Schweizernut, as in Swiss nut. So I have questions, are the, are the hazelnuts specifically imported from Switzerland or please explain, someone please explain these supposedly Swiss nuts, um, educate me. To clarify before someone decides to be a cheeky fucker, uh, that is not an invitation to send me a photo of some Swiss dude's ball sack. I, I don't want that, <laughs> regardless of nationality. I don't want that. Thank you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Chocolate and hazelnut. It's one of my favorite combinations. So this one is going to get five out of five moose because I love moose. They're funny looking, but I like them. Ooh, we are finally in licorice territory and I'm excited. But what's this? Yet another marabou. This one is the black salt lacrits. So it's gonna have little little bits of salt licorice in the chocolate and I'm excited for that. It's a little bit, it, it melted, but it's fine now. Mm, yum, 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 yum. Ah! 
<laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh, whoops. I thoroughly enjoyed this one and now so has my desk, but I'm gonna rate it five out of five band members of Meshuggah. Oh, it's on the floor as well, oh no. <sighs> okay. I turn into an old man sometimes, it's fine. And now for the item that most of you have been waiting for. It's time. Open sesame. Open sesame. It says easy opening and it just doesn't want to. I have scissors. I could just. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> There's licorice everywhere. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, well, at least I have plenty to choose from. Oh, it's all over my laptop keyboard. Okay, whatever. I'll deal with that later. All right, then punch me in the mouth, you salty little monkey. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there it is. I have had Jungelvrol before. Um, fun fact, it was actually my very first exposure to salt, to salt licorice. I met up with a Swede for a drink and he hands me a bag of this and tells me to try one. In hindsight, it was probably intended as a bit of a prank because I'm assuming that most non-Nordics probably don't like very intense salt licorice. But I tried one and after a moment of contemplative silence, I think my initial review was something along, along the lines of it's intense, but it's not bad. To be completely honest, I kind of wish that they were saltier. <laughs> like the salt is just on the outside and then once that dissolves, the rest of it is just a pretty generic sweet licorice. I would love it if it was salty in the licorice as well as on the outside. That would be good. <laughs> this is all that remains of the bag. Um, I'm gonna rate this uh, four out of five memes of the Swedish king wearing silly hats. And the final item for today is Yetta Salt. Small salt licorice caramels. I'm gonna be a little bit more careful with the bag this time. Gentle. Oh, that is some salmiak, yep. Hmm, I like it. It's not gonna take me very long to polish off this bag. So I'm gonna rate this one five out of five uh, Volvo crash test dummies. Very inclusive. Okay, that is everything. That's all of the, the little Swedish snacks that I have to try today. Although I will certainly be trying more when I move there, so that'll be fun. If you have any recommendations on other iconic Swedish snacks that I didn't try today, but you think that I should try them in the future, let me know down in the comments. Um, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Where I Do you want more reaction videos? I don't know, let me know. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure where we're going or what we're doing, but we're just gonna be doing something. We'll figure it out together. Okay, time for me to clean up the, the salt that has gone absolutely everywhere. <laughs> Fun. Okay. Hey, Dor.